crap. need to jack it up preferably by the plates not by the axle just to where you can spin it now doing that you need to listen for any rubbing there should be some because your brakes will should drag just ever so slightly just about like that all right now the bearing seems to have some play that's got to remember, it's just above freezing here right now, so um, the hotter it is, the easier these would be turned, but it's got cold grease in it. That turns pretty freely. The other thing you want to do is play for any bearing movement. There should be, I mean, just enough. Just, just general rule of thumb for me is it should be tight backed off ever so slightly to where it spins freely. That That's your bearing preload and uh, there's this one you can feel maybe two sheets of paper thick I mean it, it's tight side to side there's no you know I can't hear anything I can hear the the, uh, the brake magnet bouncing back and forth that's good that you, you can hear that's free like I said it spins free so let's go ahead and pop that hub off our cap see what we got going on in here i keep telling myself every year i'm going to get the quick easy caps because these are easy lube axles which means there's a grease circ when i get this off i'll be able to show it to you and that comes all the way to your back bearing which is way back here okay behind it, in the, uh, uh, right by your uh, hub seal and your rear bearing. So when you push grease in, it pushes grease while you're spinning it through that rear bearing, through your hollow area of your hub, up to your front bearing. So when you start pushing grease out, you know you've greased all the way through. Now, they were having an issue with some axles blowing out that rear bearing. Uh, I think the problem with that is people got lazy. They weren't spinning their tire off the ground and allowing that grease to freely flow through it. I think they had it all on the ground and it was all backed up and the pressure of a grease gun blew out their back seal. But that's the other thing. Um, I pull my hubs off. I just did it. Uh, I'm a little off. I, I do it about every three or four years depending on how much I'm using the, the trailer. And like I said, I'm going to pull this off, spin it, and every five years for sure, uh, especially if I have one that's loose, I will disassemble the whole hub. That way I can see what's going on in there. Sometimes it's just uh, the bearings have uh, gotten loose and they can be tightened up. Uh, sometimes you, you've had a bearing seize. All the preventive maintenance in the world you're still going to have issues. So, uh, you know, it, it's preventive maintenance in the spring. And I'm not going to lie to you, I don't do much more through the year because these should be a one-and-done type thing for a year. Doesn't mean things don't happen. Let's get on it.
let's go to a bigger screwdriver, see if we can get this done. There we go. There she popped. Just want to take your time. And once you get your screwdriver down there, it'll slowly start popping. And just keep working it. It's, you know, if you're in a super hurry, today shouldn't be your day doing it. All this needs to take a little time and finesse. Like I said, you can see my hubs are fairly packed. If and when that gets hot, she's going to probably be pretty good. Like I said, I, I keep my mind pretty well packed. So for that, grease still smells fresh. I don't even think I'm going to spin them this year. I think that'd be a waste of grease. Like I said, they're super tight. I might recheck these again, maybe around the 4th of July, or if I decide to take a major road trip for right now, that, like I said, you can see there's plenty of grease in there, and that has all been pushed this way from the last time I greased them. set this is really handy because it just pops right on makes a great seal now I can spin it see how it's pushed that out there we go Greased. Then you take a rag and just run your finger right up there. Like I said, all the grease in here is still pretty good. Whoop, don't want any paper in there. Get that paper towel out of there. There we go. Take it. Take your hammer and just light taps all the way around until it bottoms out. And you'll hear it bottom out. Wheel's done. Quick inspection, pre-maintenance on that one's done. I'm going to go hit the rest, and I'll be back in a minute.